Okay, today we're going to be seeing if it's possible to actually use a laser to shine it on your cornea and reshape your cornea so you can actually see better. And so in order to show you this, I actually underwent real LASIK eye surgery and filmed it in the operating room so you could see what's actually happening to my eye during LASIK eye surgery. So let me show you what's going to happen during the operation. Okay, so to show you how this works, first I'll perform my own LASIK eye surgery on this eye here, which is actually an egg, and then I'll show you the performance of a real surgeon on my real eye in the operating room. So I have the actual instruments that I asked the surgeon if I could keep from my own surgery. So here's what happens. So first they stick this thing on your eye, and it has kind of a suction cup on it. And it's gonna go right over your iris like that. And then they put you in a different chair, and this piece is hooked to a machine that has a laser on it. And this piece has to dock together. So basically your eye, is, your eye is on it like this, and this piece comes over and they dock it down, and it has to fit right in there. And this piece has a hard glass lens on it right here. And so this is gonna dock into here, and it's gonna get pushed right up against your eye. And they suction it against your eye like this. Oh. It sucks the eye right up in there against the lens. So it does apply some pressure to it. It doesn't hurt because they put numbing drops in, but basically this lens is pressed up against your eye. And now here's where they, they create a corneal flap. And so it's called a laser microtome. It's a femtosecond laser. And it shoots the laser light right down in the middle there. And it's focused just under the outer layer of your cornea. And what happens is right where it's focused, it creates a plasma right underneath the outer layer of your cornea and it creates tiny little plasma bubbles. So this laser starts shooting and it rasters up and down and up and down and goes across your eye. And so it separates a tiny little corneal flap. And that's the flap that the surgeon is then gonna flip up. So let's create my corneal flap with my high strength laser here. Three, two, one. So after they do that, the cornea is now foggy because there's this layer of gas in between there. And then this is the cool part. Then the surgeon comes in and grabs that flap with a better tool than what I have here and then peels it up. And now this is the part that actually shapes your cornea. So at this point, he moves me to another machine and has me look up at a light and he tells me to watch that light. And this is a special kind of laser. It's an ultraviolet laser and it tracks my pupils. So even if you shift your eye a little bit, it's always tracking it. And what it does is it vaporizes the part of your eye that needs to be reshaped. And so it reshapes your cornea so it can focus the light better. So as you're looking up, this ultraviolet laser, which you can't see, comes down and it starts etching your eye away. And it, and it makes this buzzing sound. And as it's etching, you can actually kind of smell the eye getting etched away, which was a little bit weird. And that only takes a few seconds, and then the surgeon gently puts down the... <laughs> and that only takes a few seconds, and then the surgeon gently puts down the corneal flap, smooths it down, and then your eye begins to heal on its own. And that flap will reseal within like six hours, they said. And so the flap seals down, and it basically has a natural band-aid on it to start healing your eye. Okay, now that you saw how it worked on an egg eye, let's see what it looks like on my actual eyes. So let's check out my real LASIK eye surgery filmed. So first I met with the eye surgeon, Dr. Cornell, and asked him a few questions about the procedure. Okay, holy cow, here we go. About to go into the OR, get operated on. Okay, so first they put in the numbing drops here. And I've got a little stress ball here for you. Okay. If you feel like squeezing your eyes, just squeeze out instead. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and cover up your left eye. Go ahead, close both eyes. Dr. Cornell's gonna be over in a second. And now as I'm laying down, they're putting those suction cups on my eye. Okay. And then they're going to swing me over to the other chair. That pressure is going to last about 30 seconds. And then they put me over under the machine, and now they're docking it against my eye. 
Now this part was the most uncomfortable part. This is the part where because of the pressure that's on your eye, it actually makes your eye kind of black out. And you can actually mimic this if you just kind of push on the side of your eye. If you do that for a long time, eventually your vision will just kind of black out. That's because you're cutting off the circulation to your eye, so it's not getting the blood flow it needs to create that vision. So now they have these two pieces docked together, and this lens is against my eye, squished up against my eye. So you can see the laser form this plasma underneath the thin layer of my cornea here. And so it turns white as it forms this plasma underneath, and it goes up and down and up and down. So basically, basically you just see this white move across my pupil. Now for the other Same thing eye. with the left eye. Okay. Back under the red line. Now at this yeah, point, they help me yeah. up and this it's just normal. foggy. Well, I can't really see anything good. because hey. I have this kind of gap under my cornea now that's filled with, um, I guess, gases that's hey. making it a little bit foggy. And so then I move to the different laser. And this is the laser that has the waveguide that actually shapes my cornea. Now, this is the cool part. This is where the surgeon has to get in there and pull that corneal flap up. So during this, I didn't actually know what he was doing at this point. I just kind of felt pressure on my eye. It's really cool to see afterwards what's happening. Dr. Cornell was amazing, amazingly smooth hands. You can see that little tiny, very thin flap getting pulled up. And this is the part where you can smell the vaporizing cornea. And then he puts the cornea flap Smell back down. Burning flesh. Uh, Now the other eye. That football's a good say, idea. That's a great idea. <laughs> I'll let you swing your legs over here like this. You can say hello to your friends here. <sighs> Done. You did it. That was actually not that bad. The worst part was the, that beginning, but yes. <laughs> I almost just rubbed my eyes just then, but I didn't. That's right. <laughs> okay. Just see if I was checking, right? E yes. <laughs> Let's take a picture here and document this. I'll okay. Let you stand up. You Guess what up? I'm not wearing? No more contacts and glasses, woo! <laughs> <laughs> well, give him a thumbs up, you earned it. Okay, so the reason I did this, I was actually planning on getting LASIK already, and just the day before my surgery, I called him and I asked if it'd be okay if I filmed it, because I thought it'd be really cool to see the actual eye surgery, and I thought you guys would like it. And sure enough, they said, sure, it's great if you film it. And so they actually, um, did it for me for free and they said if I just put a link in my description if anybody's been thinking about LASIK surgery check out the link in my description LASIK plus is a great option 
it was I love the staff here everything went really well so check it out if you're thinking about it or if you've been curious about it check out in my description I'll put a link there for a discount if you want and then after all that's done they eat your eye oh no they don't never mind so I'm about four days post surgery now and I can see almost perfectly clearly now. It's a little cloudy, but it takes a few weeks to clear up. It takes a few weeks for the uh, fluid that got between that flap and everything and your eye being inflamed from the laser. It takes a few weeks for that to go away completely. But as of now, it's like I'm wearing glasses. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified of my latest videos out. And head over to theactionlab.com if you haven't checked out my new Action Lab subscription box. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.